Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this video, we're just going to look at how we fit a screen protector to a Garmin Montana 700 series. We stock a couple of versions of screen protectors. The one I'm going to use here today is the one that we have called the Savvy Screen Protector. So we sell these in packs of two. Instructions are on the back of the packet um, that you get with the screen protectors. What we recommend first is that you give your screen a thorough clean. I'm actually using a screen wipe that I've purchased separately here. An alcohol wipe is a good idea as well if you've got an alcohol wipe or some sort of screen wipe and just give the screen a good wipe. Make sure it's nice and clean, free of any dust. It's ideally, if you can, do the cleaning in an area where you haven't got a lot of of dust a nice clean room so giving the screen just a nice wipe first and have a lint free cloth as well so once you've actually wiped the screen clean which I'll just do here now you can then actually dry it with a lint free cloth so I'm just going to move the wipe out of the way now and just use this cloth to give the screen a good clean just to make sure there's no dust on the screen you want a nice clean screen without any finger marks and ideally without any dust on the screen once you've got it nice and clean, make sure you've got some sort of a credit card or something that you can use that you end up wrapping in the cloth so you can smooth out any bubbles that you may get when you put the screen protector on. So with the screen protector, actually find out which side is going to peel off. So I can see here if I peel it, this is going to be the backing paper that I'm going to peel off. So just peel it off so far. I'd normally peel it off just an inch or so and then line it up on the GPS device so you've got it lined nice and central so you can see that it's going to line up okay. Once you've got it lined up just a gentle press down and then you're just carefully pulling the backing paper from it as you push it down. Now this is where I tend to get the card inside the cloth and I just put the card inside the cloth just so I don't mark the outer of the screen. So I've just got the card wiped up, uh, sorry wrapped up, wiped up. Um, in the cloth you may want to get a thinner cloth it depends on um, what you've got available so I'm just going to put this so it's just in the cloth there and I can just squeeze any bubbles out and then carefully pull the back and paper off making sure you don't touch the screen and just again I'm just sliding the card down I'll finish off and get the rest of these air bubbles out once I've got it down so then I can pull the backing paper away and then again I'll just get this card in the cloth and then we'll just smooth out these bubbles. Sometimes I find you'll find the bubbles settle down and do clear out themselves, but it's just a case of rubbing the card over the unit and just squeezing out those air bubbles. You can see those air bubbles nicely coming out there now. So that's it just about done. And um, what I sometimes find as well, it's quite um, good to actually just get the cloth and just put a bit of pressure on the bubbles with your thumb, with your finger, just to push them out. And if you have any left, like you say, sometimes it's a case of just leaving them and they will settle down and just coming back with the cloth and pushing down on those air bubbles. But that's how we basically fit a screen saver to a Montana 700. But the knack is to make sure the screen's nice and clean before you put the protector on and that you've got rid of any dust um, or grease marks on the screen before you actually put the protector on. So we hope you found this video useful. And thanks for watching.